As it gets colder outside, we're thinking about comfort foods, foods that keep us warm. To talk about some healthy options and healthy comfort foods, we bring in our Nine News nutritionist, Kristen Kirkpatrick. Hi, Kristen. Good morning. Thanks for joining Hi. me. Oh, thank you for having me today. So we're talking about fall veggies, specifically butternut squash. Can you talk about butternut squash, the benefits, and how it's good for our bodies? Yeah, so butternut squash is obviously a favorite right now. Um, everything orange is a favorite during the fall. So butternut squash is very high in vitamins A, C, and E. You know, a lot of conversations are being had right now about how we boost our immunity, and those are some of the vitamins that we know are responsible for boosting our immune system, helping to enhance it, really keeping that strength that we need to fight off infection. In addition to that, it's also very high in something called carotenoids. So carotenoids are antioxidants. There's about 600 different carotenoids in general, but it's what provides butternut squash its really wonderful orange color. So I often talk, tell my patients, anytime you see color, orange, red, yellow, that is indicative of these high carotenoids, and there's so many benefits just in that carotenoid family. It can be so delicious. I've had butternut squash soup before. It's just so creamy. So what are some easy ways to get some butternut squash into our diets? Yeah, so that's a great example that you just provided. Soup is a wonderful way to do it, and I think it's wonderful because you can add a lot of ingredients that also can add benefits. So um, I've got a great butternut squash where I add some onions and carrots and garlic. So we're adding all those other high antioxidant foods. We know that helps with reducing inflammation. We talked about the immune system. Carotenoids have also been found to help reduce certain cancers and reduce the risk of all-cause mortality. So soup's a great option, and you can have it for multiple days, simply roasting it, uh, making French fries. A lot of times we think of sweet potatoes as the only potato we can use for French fries, but uh, butternut squash is a great option. Yeah, I've also used spaghetti squash to actually make, um, to mimic spaghetti too, and put that in with meatballs or something, another great comfort food idea too. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, um, it's 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 just it's just such a wonderful way to get more plants. You know, we're not eating enough plants as Americans. Um, we're following more what we call the standard American diet, which is very highly processed. So, you know, go to the store, get a butternut squash. There's so many things you can do with it, um, and it's a great way to get those nutrients in in your family. Um, you know, we need more of them. Great advice, Kristen. Thanks so much for joining me. And by the way, Kristen's going to go live on the Nine News Facebook page later this morning at 9 a.m. And she'll show you some of those recipes, the one for butternut squash soup. Thanks, Kristen. Thank you so much.